Let's talk about Cobra Kai. This show is a huge success. I don't think anybody thought this show would be as popular as it is. Because, I mean, come on. The Karate Kid, out of all of the 80s properties that could be brought back, did anybody make a big push for Karate Kid? (laughs) You know, it's a good movie, but, I mean, I don't look back at that as one of my all-time favorites. But this show is quickly becoming one of my favorite favorite TV shows. I love this show. A lot of people do. And the idea that it's getting a spinoff, yeah, that sounds about right. I could believe this. Just like The Mandalorian, right? Disney has a, a good thing there, so what do they do? They're going to make 10, 10 shows surrounding it. Just about all of those shows that are coming out from Disney are Mandalorian spinoffs. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it. If you got something good, you know, grow it. So, yeah, I could definitely believe there's a spinoff coming. I don't know who they would base it on. You know, where do you you go from there? But I definitely would like to see it. But there's something interesting going on with this show that I want to point out. A lot of us that make content talking about a lot of the people that are trying to destroy entertainment, we always say, don't bend the knee. Don't apologize because it's never enough. They're never happy. You can't please them. You can never go far enough. And Cobra Kai and The Mandalorian both have that in common. They both, both of the shows are in a lot of ways pretty progressive. Cobra Kai is a very progressive show. It doesn't make it woke. And there's nothing wrong with a show or a movie being progressive. In my opinion, I think if you can, if you can do that, that's great. Awesome. Cobra Kai is a very progressive show. And it does it without getting woke. That's why it's not going broke. Everybody on Cobra Kai is pretty well developed. In fact, I'm even positive that Cobra Kai would probably pass the Bactyl test. I think that's what they call it. What is that test? Well, it's basically a test uh, that it's like a feminist test. And it has something to do. There's like a bunch of questions you have to answer. And it, and it shows if the show treats women right. A really good example of this is actually Daniel's wife in the show. Uh, they actually give her, I don't know if you've noticed this, but they give her a lot of screen time and they even give her development. She's like, she's treated pretty good. She's had plenty of interactions with just her and Daniel's daughter, for example, where they don't even talk about Daniel. I remember that from, I think the last episode of season like two, I don't remember. I think it was like episodes eight or nine, but my point is the show is pretty progressive and people love it. No one's out here saying this show is crazy woke or anything. And then, you know, the media starts talking about it, right? And this is a good example why it'll never be enough. So I've I've covered this article right here before, but I just want to show it as an example because there's another one here. A Los Angeles Times says, at Netflix, Cobra Kai broke out. Now it's whiteness is under a new spotlight. And what was the point of this article? Well, they're mad that there's no... uh, (laughs) There's no... Karate master Asian guy, a very stereotypical stance. I got to say, and almost kind of racist in my opinion, because that's like, are you, are you really going there? You're making that push. <laughs> I mean, like the main, the main character in the show, at least one of them is Miguel, a Latino. And he's the karate master in the show. Well, the karate, he's the karate kid, what him and Robbie, but uh, Miguel is kind of like the main dude of the show. I like Miguel. Most people do. No one discusses what he is. They talk about who he is, which is what you need to do. Good characters is all anybody ever asked for. Nobody's out there saying, my God, Miguel's got to go. No, most people like them or most people like him and all the other characters. You've got body diversity, all kinds of people from different backgrounds on the show, and they're all very well developed and they're all like nobody cares, right? But it's never enough. You can have body diversity, diversity in itself, uh, well-drawn-out female characters like his wife and his daughter, and uh, they stand on equal ground with all the other characters, but that doesn't matter. Uh, now you need you need an Asian karate master. Even though the show has that, in a lot of ways with Mr. Miyagi as the kind of a legacy that's overshadowing the show. And then, now that I finished the series, when I talked about this before I hadn't, you also have the guy from Karate Kid 2 who trains Daniel in Japan. That's there, but that wasn't enough. We actually need one in the lead, 
<laughs> this it's funny to me that this article doesn't realize kind of how racist it is. And then the salt moves on with this article. Uh, this is the archive version, so you can't see what this says right here, but it says, I am not the last Jedi. Uh, what the whole point of this article is, I'm not going to read it because it's ridiculous, is they take time to compare all the characters in the show to the last Jedi and the Star Wars sequel characters and how the Star Wars sequel did it better. Yeah, they made our favorite character, Luke Skywalker, be demoralized and had him drink green milk from an alien from an alien animal's nipple on some hermit planet. Yeah, that's what we need a Daniel to do. <laughs> They're basically salty that people don't like the sequel trilogy and they like Cobra Kai. It's just never enough. Cobra Kai is a great show and you would think all of these people that want to destroy entertainment would be celebrating it because in a way it's everything that they've ever wanted and asked for, but they, they, they spit on it. There's plenty of people on Twitter. I've pulled this up before where they're demanding that karate master um, from Asia. It's it's so weird. Like, are you seriously going there? Like, <laughs> of all the nitpicks you can make. And then this. Oh, my God. Cobra Kai is incredibly successful. But what about the Disney Star Wars trilogy? <laughs> are you serious? What a dumb stance to take. The whole article on the Disney Star Wars trilogy and how it does nostalgia better. You got to be kidding me. Like, I'm pretty sure this brought in new Karate Kid fans. I've talked to people that have actually went and watched all the movies they've never seen. They watched Cobra Kai and then they actually went back and watched the Karate Kid trilogy. But this, but you know... This is like built up that that brand. Star Wars sequel trilogy divided the fandom. So I really don't see how it did things better. In fact, it did a lot of things wrong. But, you know, nothing's ever going to be good enough. Nothing will ever be woke enough, progressive enough. Nothing will ever be good enough. It's 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 just crazy. And Cobra Kai proves it. It proves it. Like, how do, how do you... Come down on that show if you're looking for progressive stuff. If anything, it should be your your favorite show ever made, your most favorite show ever made because it's got everything you're looking for and good storytelling and character development, which makes everybody like it. It's just so ridiculous to me at this point. Why are you going after Cobra Kai? It's almost like they're nitpicking to nitpick stupid stuff. Okay. Just because it's about karate doesn't mean it doesn't mean it needs like a bunch of Asian people. Come on now, that's do you? How do they not recognize how how ridiculous and kind of probably I would say offensive to people that could be. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would. Please like, subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed, share the video, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.